Shana to to all of you. A happy, healthy, and sweet new year. To those who feel comfortable coming, we hope to see you in shul, and to those that do not, we wish you a happy and healthy year. We're about to enter into Rosh Hashanah, the first days of what's known as the 10 days of repentance, the Aseris Yemei Tshuva. Tshuva can really be translated as returning. And we're repenting and returning to our relationship with Hashem. But it's interesting that even though these are the two days that started off, we really do not find in the liturgy of Rosh Hashanah too much that deals with repentance and return. Rather, the liturgy is filled with imagery of God being the creator, God being on top of everything, God being the king, but not too much about repentance and return. So why is it that we consider these two days the first two days of repentance and return when we don't even speak about it much? And I think the answer might be that to properly approach repentance and return, which culminates on Yom Kippur, we first have to have a little bit of a paradigm shift. We need two days of a paradigm shift. We think throughout the year that we are the center of our own universes and we have an orbit around us and we bring in family and we bring in friends to our orbit and we bring God in too. Sometimes we bring God in daily, sometimes we bring God in Shabbat, but we bring God as a guest at our table too. We, we welcome God into our lives. But the truth of the matter is that we learn in Rosh Hashanah is that God is not a guest at our table, in our orbit. We are guests at God's table, and we are in his universe, in his orbit. And we have to realize that the world does not revolve around us, that we choose to bring in God. God's universe is there. His kingship is there. And every day we are guests at his table. Sometimes we realize it more than others. Sometimes we open our eyes more. But if we truly would open our eyes like we do on Rosh Hashanah, we would realize that every day of our lives, we are guests in God's orbit. We are guests at God's table. And when we work on this, and then we're able to repent, it actually culminates with Sukkot. With us leaving our own homes, because we realize that this is not our home that it's really God's, and going into the sukkah, with, which represents God's table and God's home. And we feel that, that connection, that we are actually guests at God's table. And that's the truth of the matter every day. Every day that we wake up, it's because God has sending us a handwritten invitation to every single one of us that we are important that our lives matter, that we need to accomplish. Every day, God is sending us this handwritten invitation to be guests at his table. I want to wish you all a Shana Tova Musuka, a happy, healthy, and sweet new year.